Thank you very much. Very important. 
unfortunately gets knocked out or stopped. And then two or three months later, after another couple of wins, he gets stopped again. And then he gets stopped again. And then pretty soon we label him with, uh, and this guy developed a glass jaw. So I call it the glass jaw theory. And my answer to the, the, the question, or the answer is they're giving, well, two is the number, three is the number. It's up to the individual, because all concussions are different. You'll never find the same concussions like finding two snowflakes that are alike. You're never going to find concussion as the same injury. So the theory there is if you have a, an athlete that gets a concussion and all of a sudden um, he has a tough time dealing with that and getting better, and then all of a sudden he gets another one, and he finds he's getting them easier, it's time to get out of there. Okay, so that number is up to the individual. And um, they call it the glass jaw theory. As soon as they develop that and ability, you you got to get them out. No more, no more sports. And, and thank you.